Water was the origin of life and the symbol of abundance to Koreans. Also, it was believed to possess the power to purify wrongs or unjust deeds. That's why water was treated as a sacred being. Wow, look at this water. Isn't it absolutely refreshing? Well, I think this would be a perfect spot for those of you who are stressed out over heavy workloads and have other kinds of worries to come and to meditate and otherwise relax your spirits. Well, this is where we'll be learning another one of our Shipjang Seng Kigong movements, the Mulgigong. water, Kigong, to control Gi. Kigong which symbolizes the flowing waters. The third Sip Jiangseng is Mul Kigong. When doing Mul Kigong, bend both knees slightly. Open the right foot about a half step and open the left foot about a half step to the left. Raise the heels gently up and down and keep a parallel stance. Inhale slowly and put both hands above the head. Twist the upper body to the right slowly. Exhale slowly and lower both hands. Straighten the knees slowly and inhale. Put the left hand to the back and raise the right hand above the head. Straighten the knees slowly, stretch the upper body, and lower the right hand while exhaling. Mulgigong is a slow and smooth motion, performed as if the flowing body is ascending over a wave. The palm will become warm, and you will feel like a magnetic field is surrounding your arms. So what did you think of the master's demonstration? We've all seen water being scooped up from a lake or waterfall at one time or another. The murgigong resembles this motion, so imagine yourself scooping up water when you are doing this motion. We learn about mulgigong. Bend both knees slightly. Move both feet to the side a half step and raise the heel gently, keeping the parallel stance by lightly moving the front foot. Inhale and raise both hands slowly above the head. Twist the upper body to the right and sit down slowly and lower both hands. Exhale at the same time. Straighten the knees slowly, lean back slowly and inhale. At the same time, look at the tip of the hand. Raise the upper body slowly and inhale. Lower the right hand and exhale.
Now raise both hands slowly above the head. Twist the upper body to the right slowly and inhale. Bend the knees, lower both hands and exhale. Put the right palm to the front and don't bend the knees over the toes. Maintain a fist space between the knees. Rise slowly and arch back slowly. Look at the tip of the hand. Straighten the spine and put the right hand to the front and lower it. Mukigang is just a fantastic motion. This is my favorite motion. As I keep doing this motion, I can feel heat around my waist and also around my hands. Okay, so you just learned your third Qigong motion. So I'm going to show you another way you can feel the Qi at home. Raise both hands to eye level. At the same time, keep a space of 10 centimeters between the hands. Inhale slowly and spread both hands about 4 to 5 centimeters apart. And exhale slowly and bring them together again. Spread your hands, bring them together, and close your eyes and do it slowly. Exhale and bring them together. Inhale slowly and spread them apart. So what kind of feeling do you get from this motion? This time I got a different feeling, really. For this time, I feel like magnetic fields inside my two hands. I try to pull, and when I try to push it, it's pull again, and it's when you are doing, skipping doing this, and you concentrate doing this, really it gives you very good and fresh mind. The ancient proverb Taksim Samir refers to a short-lived resolution. Well, this won't work when you're learning Qigong. For the kind of results you want, constant and steady practice is the only way. Well, this is all for today. Join us next time as we continue to study Qigong.